Goslings was pretty rough. A lot of unemployment, a lot of crime, lack of education. That's where I grew up and I grew up in a single income family. My old man was the only person in our family that generated an income. And he worked his guts out to provide for our family. But during the recession of the late 80s and the early 90s, he lost his job and was unemployed for a period of two years. And that period not only was really tough on him, but it completely changed the direction of my life. Never once before in my life did I think about money until I was in those teenage years and I was watching my dad go through that period. Two years of being unemployed, sending out 50 resumes a day, trying to get a job. Now all the blokes out there, I know what it's like. All we want to do is provide for our family. That's all my old man wanted to do for me. And not being able to do that, it almost killed him. I can remember one day, it was just me and dad at home, mum, I don't know, my sister were out. Being a typical teenager, I did something that upset him. I can't remember what it was. He got angry. He chased after me, I ran of course. I ran up the split level stairs in our house and halfway up the stairs, him chasing after me and he collapsed in a heap. And he was bawling his eyes out. And he kept saying, and this thing, it, it still rings in my head. I'm so sorry, Tim, I'm so sorry. Now, my old man is an ex-cattle farmer, ex-Navy. Toughest man I've ever met in my entire life. To watch the toughest man I've ever met be reduced to that. I'd never ever heard my old man say sorry. And I'd never once in my entire life seen my old man cry. And it leveled me that moment and I'm nowhere near as tough as him. So it was really clear walking away from that moment, man, I better make sure I've got money. Never thought about money prior to that.